What is up, everyone? Welcome to a little fall bait talk. Look what we got. Yeah. But first, let's get into some mail. Some speedy mail. delivery. Speedy <laughs> delivery. All right. We I don't have, have got... scissors. I don't have scissors or anything. Scissors? What do you need scissors for? Oh, Just rip it open. <laughs> Come on, Ravi. It's Christmas. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. From the musky shop, some we have got custom colors. Oh wait. Well, we can't show these yet. These are top secret. <laughs> There's something else in here. We got ourselves a little musky shop calendar. Guys, if you wanna, wow. Let's pull this thing Let's out. Let's pull it out. Let's take a look at this. If you thing. wanna look at muskies every month, um, this would be a good, How's that good going? calendar to have. Well, it's definitely How's this going for this guy here? Wow. Voila. There you go. Musky shop calendar. Is there oh, any we got two. I think oh, I got each one. Got one. Wow. All right. Cool. <laughs> I bet there's no Lee lures on these I don't images. think so. I don't think so, but certainly cool. We could just tape a picture of one over it, <laughs> right, or hang right. it from the hook above the calendar or whatever. But so, at yeah. any rate, we've got the 2019 Musky Shop calendar. Get them. They're hot. They've got them. They're yes. in stock. You can order They'll these right now. And we've got some baits. We have got what was the first Poseidon that was ever made. Yep. First one we ever threw. Glitter. What, you took, I don't know, five casts when you got your first Poseidon fish on it? Pretty much, yeah, that thing uh, kind of wrecked in me. Illinois, yeah. Yep, so, uh, this color definitely works. This was our first color that we ever used, so, yeah. Got some custom color at Musky Shop. It's called Superstar, when you look for it online there, that's the one you're gonna wanna look for. Uh, that's, the, my hamburger Poseidon yeah. was this color. Yep. So there you have it. Moving on to fall baits here. Um, Poseidon, obviously. Yeah, that's a go-to. You Easy. know we like the white ones. Yep, yep. You know we you like it when they look like that. <laughs> and they're almost cut in half. Yeah, Generally hamburger. Good thing. Yep. We like those. Poseidon, that's a go-to at all times of the fall. Definitely everyone should have one of those on yeah. their, or one person, one person in the, the boat. One person boat needs yeah. it on, yep, yes, big time. Not everyone, sorry. Moving on to the next rubber bait. We got ourselves the Husky Medusa. Uh, that's a pretty solid size that you can throw in the fall, depending on where you're fishing. Minnesota, Wisconsin even, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this is the Cisco colored, got my big, biggest fish ever on it. 54 and a half by 27 inch Mille Lacs Giants. So let's look at that. Yeah, thing. yeah, we'll, we'll be playing that right now. That's pretty much where your life changed yeah. as a musky fisherman. I knew that this is what I want to be doing every day. <laughs> that, that was a crazy day in life, um, but yeah the Cisco pattern color right there. So if you guys are heading out to Mille Lacs, you should probably have a Medusa on that. <laughs> Any big water, right, right. Mille Lacs, musky, musky St. Clair, water. wherever, Green Bay even. We will definitely be chucking those two baits uh, next week. We'll be heading up to Minnesota. Cannot wait. Yeah. Big, big fish ones, opportunities big coming yep. our way. Yep. Something a little different you can try with your Medusa is adding the Angry Dragon front I mean, all it does is connect into, just connects by a split ring. Take That's, the back yep. section off yep. of the of the Angry Dragon, and split, boom, there you go. Split, split ring it on the Medusa's front there. You know, Medusa's obviously catch fish by themselves, but adding that little flash vibration, who knows, who knows. Something different. The, you had that big one eat yeah, it out yep. on St. Clair yeah, right. uh, just recently on the yeah, figure eight. Right, right, so, I wow. don't know. Definitely something to try if you want to, if you're fishing pressured waters, just something different to throw at the fish. Something guys aren't doing. Yep. So we know a ton of people aren't fishing bucktails in the fall, um, but. There's definitely a place for them. <laughs> Last year, my life almost got turned around again with that freaking giant that came up. That mid 50 yeah. inch fish. Right. And that was so uh, very cold water. That yeah. was 40, 40, pretty much 40 degree water, yeah. yep. low 40 degree water. Uh, fish, we actually raised it again on the mm, Leviathan, Leviathan too, right. that same fish. Yep. But here's the deal, on the boiler maker, if you're not doing this, especially if you want to get the bait down a little deeper or fish it a little mm -hmm. faster, is just add this 3 eighths to a half ounce to even a one ounce if you're maybe fishing yeah. some deeper water, We're just a, a bell sinker right on that front split ring. That's all you're gonna have to do Get her down deep. <laughs> yep, and just slow roll. The thump of that blade, you'll feel it. The rod, it's crazy how the rod goes thump, yeah, thump, right, thump, right. thump, 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 thump. And thump. adding in jerks or whatever, because you can do whatever you want with that bait. 
Yeah, you can stop the bait. They'll yep. hit it on the pause. Yep. yep. And you can fish like a jerk bait. Right, you caught right. fish that yep. way on yep. it too. Yep. So make sure you get yourself a little pack of these, uh, a little, few different size uh, lead sinkers you can throw on there. Next, we have something we're really excited yeah. to be throwing this late season. Yeah, it goes is slow. obviously the trilogy. If you have not seen the Lake St. Clair video yeah, we did with thing this works. thing, <laughs> holy crap, yep. they came unglued on this thing. And this is the larger size, which will probably be what we'll throw late yeah, season yep. for the most part. Big vibration. Uh, and another new thing they've done with this, um, uh, Scott has added a little clacker on here. So you've got a little noise maker yep. on this deal. Loud, now it's loud. I don't know, it's something different. Definitely uh, need to try this. We just got our hands on that thing now. Uh, one other thing you might want to do with your trilogies here as well, double up two split rings and you're just gonna put them if I can get the there we go get the skirt pulled away there one split ring and another split ring and then you could add another hook up higher like that and then you've got you know dual hooking yeah, yeah. potential there in case they're hitting the front hitting the blade or whatever it's a confidence thing that's what we got confidence in right now yeah just adding that extra hook you um, never know where they're gonna bite it cool thing about the trilogy style blades is that you can work them deeper easier than a regular bucktail you know when you're fall fishing you want to be working a little deeper so that thing can really get into the water column just kind of like Poseidon really if you slow it down well on our crazy uh, early fall trip to St. Clair mm -hmm. when it was high skies middle of the day yep. not much was happening I got that 46 inch you're going really crawling slow, so it's just something to try something to try if you're not seeing fish that bait was running for sure six mm -hmm. feet yep, down six maybe feet. eight feet yep. down yep. so there's another option for your late fall bucktail and another option that really doesn't get thrown a lot is the chatterbait in the fall i know the owner of the company todd he's caught fish actually jerkbait fishing it or rubber fishing it like you'd work a medusa so that's another option got the angry dragon tna angry dragon something to try something a little different because you can go pretty slow with these don't have to worry about um working it too fast or whatever and that's a sick color you got your yeah. black you got your char yep. you got your white beetlejuice beetlejuice beetlejuice, 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 beetlejuice. beetlejuice. said it three times sorry <laughs> here he comes so yeah if you want to try something different in the fall something guys aren't throwing check out the chatterbait go a little slower add those jerks in it and uh, see what happens <laughs> okay moving right along no fall arsenal is complete without a couple of glide baits mm -hmm. Uh, typically something a little bigger than like seven, eight inch range or so. Robbie's got the, the uh, slim, the shum, shum slim. slim. A quickie would be fine yep, too. Yep. They make a, uh, they also make a bigger size in. I think it's the quickie. Yeah, yeah. As well, so, so yep. big glide baits, cedarwood gliders, soft rubber tails, absolutely trigger fish on mm -hmm. the paws. Um, yeah, in uh, big pike too. So I've got the pelagic glide bait. This is the eight inch version. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a few of these on the website shortly. Um, th they're not for everyone. This right. is a, a Cadillac style uh, glider, kind of top shelf item. But the biggest thing about you know any good glide bait, and the Shums do it really mm -hmm. well too, is when you tap that rod, the bait changes 180 degrees and almost flips over. Right, that and, belly roll. Oh, he gets that rock like <laughs> the that. Jimmy too, Ooh, yeah. That is when they crush that yep. thing. That is a killer. So either the Shum, the Quickie, or yeah, the- uh, Both do it. Boom. <laughs> Lee Lures Plagic, that'll get the job done too for your late, especially when it's calm yeah, yep. and sunny and nothing's happening, gliders will do it. Okay, so what fall fishing trip would be complete without a dive and rise? Yep jerk bait. I've got here the Lee Lures Leviathan, perhaps not the easiest bait to get a hold of. Uh, I've got some in the works right now. I promise there'll be there'll be some coming on the way here. Soon, soon. Um, but you know whatever bait it is, I don't care if it's a suic or you're throwing a bar fight or whatever, I don't really care. But basically the dive and rise style baits. The biggest thing I think about the dive and rise baits that obviously has kind of come into uh, play in the last couple of years here is that you know addition of wet of lead to the bait yep. of wed, heavy of <laughs> wed to the bait <laughs> lead to the bait at any rate um you know whether if it was just a, a suic you can add bell sinkers to your uh front front split ring there um obviously these have the removable weight system like that but you know it just seems like there are some days where like that, that. Yeah. stop go <laughs> stop go stop go is just deadly 
And uh, okay, so what's the difference between say this and a Suic? Well, the big thing is the body roll. Uh, just like we talked about on glide baits, shimmy. <laughs> anytime you get that shimmy, it shows movement, especially when you got contrasting colors like this. Uh, you know, we got the bright belly and bright sides, but two different colors. When that bait rocks and rolls like that at the end of the glide. Mm -hmm. Something extra, get that, that trigger and maneuver. You know, it's just like the rubber bait, uh, rubber tail glide baits. When we first started putting rubber tails on those baits, I mean, it was just lights out. It shows movement. And that's that's the big thing about that style of bait. It's, it's hard to trigger a fish, especially mm -hmm. a big fish, on a hard bait. But as soon as you start showing extra movement from, in addition to the moving of side the bait forward. Too, right? yeah. yeah, and this bait will go side to side as well. It's almost a glide bait yeah. and a dive yeah. bait yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there you have it. Pretty much that's our fall that's lineup. Our lineup right there, yeah. Now, what are we throwing these baits on? Pretty uh, much two rods yeah, for yeah. late season. Um, I've the got... Light, the lighter rod? The Poseidon rod. Yes. Really like that. This is the SWAT. And actually coming out new very shortly is the SWAT 9-foot oh, telescoping. <laughs> okay, now check this out, people. This is going to fit in your truck in your boat, in your rod locker, mm -hmm. everywhere. This nine foot extra heavy musky rod will go down to about seven foot five. It's gonna fit everywhere. Crazy. Almost every rod locker is gonna fit a seven foot five incher. Right, you know, seven, right. most rod lockers are yeah. seven and a half yep. basically. Um, yeah, I promise you what, I've waited 20 plus <laughs> years for this rod to be produced. I'm not even lying. I told rod makers for years, you gotta have a telescoping nine yep. foot. They thought I was from the moon or something <laughs> crazy. I'm telling you, this is, I promise, this is going to be the hottest musky rod for all around yeah. baits. You could throw everything from a big glide bait like this to, you know, boiler hus makers. Yeah, boilers, Poseidons, yep, yep. Uh, Blades, Medusas. Trilogy. I mean, you Covers name all it. the bases. Yeah. Other than maybe the really big rubber, yeah. yep. uh, you probably wouldn't be able to get away with that. But that's the assault stick, nine foot SWAT extra yep. heavy. And then, um, boom, when you're chucking like husky, husky medusas or if you're really feeling strong monster medusas, uh, the shock and awe by big Chaos stuff. Tackle, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely need it when you're throwing big, big lures like that. And for reals, guys, you won't be let down if you have a Tranks in the fall. It's like the one reel that's just gonna hold up through whatever the 500 yeah, right the 500 size i know everyone says it's so big it's so big it's but it's too big for my <laughs> hands right. lee and i work it fine and we're the tiniest guys in the yeah. musky industry so yeah pretty much uh <laughs> so yeah. i don't know you don't have to worry about size who cares in late fall you know as long as it just works you just want it to work oh yeah that reminds me i almost forgot you know for your all around bait fishing you don't really need that mm, right. that giant a reel the tranks 400 has been awesome for me i've had good results with it so far um that's in the slower ratio yeah. i don't know i i kind of i'm kind of old school <laughs> right, but right. a lot of guys like the high speed whatever speed you like but i am using the slower Slow, of the two yeah. 5.8 retrieve yep uh, you got the high speed on there yeah which is nice for rubber fishing. I don't know. It's up to you. It's just whatever you whatever want to Whatever you're right. used to. Right, right. But uh, those are pretty solid bets. Yeah. Um, the Shock and Awe, the SWAT. That's it. That's the mm -hmm. fall lineup right there. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything. Yeah, shoot us in the comments below. Hit us in the comments below. DM us on Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Message us on Facebook. And uh, we'll try to answer all those questions. Well, hopefully that'll answer a few questions for you guys. Yep. Um, we've got a little Minnesota trip yeah, coming up here very shortly. Excited, very excited. Hopefully we can bust a giant. It's we got, need it. It's been we a long need time. It. I, it's yeah, we got the one big 51 into this this summer, but man, we really want that big 50 plus with the big fall belly. <laughs> We've also had a couple sick banger days, yep, yep. but we need a big one. Yeah, absolutely. One giant, so that's what we're going for next week. And guys, we hope you guys stick and stick a giant. Also, if you do stick a giant this fall, please send us those pictures. We like to look at that. <laughs> Always love looking at other people's successes. Oh, for sure. Especially <laughs> when we're in a slump. Yeah, right. We right. need a big fish. Yep, yep. So we appreciate you guys sharing all of your catches yeah, with us. Yep. It's been awesome. The yeah. support. Thanks oh. for getting us over 15 K as yeah. well. Happened this week. So that was awesome. Wow. What a week, man. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, that's a wrap up on our late fall musky presentation. 
uh, deal here. Baits, rods, yep. tackle. That's what uh, we're using. Appreciate you guys coming by, and we will hopefully catch you when we've got a 40 plus pounder in the boat. <laughs> well, I hope so. Or you too. <laughs> right, right, right. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.